Here we are at the site of the uh, the senior center. We have Councilwoman Cole, and we're still waiting for uh, the mayor to arrive. We got uh, members of the uh, Bay Terrace uh, Phillips Senior Association. And all uh, channel uh, 8, channel 10 is probably here. Everybody come join us. Everyone, channel yeah. You were all the people that came to the city hall. There we go. There we go here. The officials from the uh, city of San Diego. There's the mayor arriving. All right. Okay. There we go. Everybody come on in. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody come on in. We should begin this uh, ceremony shortly here. And we're going to do the official announcement of the five million appropriation for the uh, senior center here at Tuma Park. Wow. <laughs> What a day at Tuma Park. What a day. Five million dollars is a lot of dough, folks. Anybody see one in or the No, they're in the Philippines. Oh, he went to the Philippines. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're good. Good. Now let's begin right. the good ceremony. Good morning. Good morning. Everybody ready? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's the most excited group all the time. I love it. Council members, it's great to uh, it's great to be back with, with all of you. Thank you for, for being here this morning and, and joining me, of course, in this uh, fantastic neighborhood is our council president Myrtle Cole. I want to also introduce uh, Adi De Castro, San Diego Honorary Consul of the Republic of the Philippines, and his mother, who is here today, Ayumi De Castro, member of the Bay Terraces Filipino American Senior Association. I want to thank uh, Paz Gomez, who's our deputy, deputy director for uh, Public Works and Infrastructure, who's here. Paz, thank you for being here. And uh, Herman Parker is hiding in the back, who's our a proud director of our Park and Recreation uh, Department. And I also saw James Nagelbord there as well. Uh, look, I'm so proud to be here today with all of you uh, to announce an incredibly important step forward in making sure that our city is investing in all of our neighborhoods. And we are here to today to announce millions of grant funding that's going to help us finally build a community center for this beautiful neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. All of us know that the uh, Bay Terraces Community Park uh, Senior Center it's a project that has been more than a decade in the making, a long time. And for more than a decade, this community has been advocating to build this neighborhood senior center right here, right here at Bay Terrace, to have a senior center that everybody can be proud of, a place where families can gather, additional amenities to enhance this great park, a place where seniors can exercise, Play cards, a couple of you were talking about as well. Uh, there you go. Uh, and I will tell you that uh, after so many years of planning, the Senior Service Center is now fully funded. And that is why we are here to celebrate this. Uh, and the fact that we helped to secure that $5 million in federal grant money 
um, that are going to help us to build this very important project. It's going to be a 3,200 square foot center. It's going to feature a multi-purpose room, a kitchen for hosting big events, office for our, our city crew and teams out here, public restroom, and of course upgrades to meet Americans with Disability Act standards. This is the proof that by working together, all of us, the city is giving our neighborhoods and our parks and our communities the attention that they deserve. Uh, but there is one final hurdle that we have to cross to put this wonderful project in motion. Uh, we need the City Council to vote to uh, approve the funding needed to do this at our meeting at 2 p.m. today. I think they'll do the right thing. What do you think? I think, that, I think that's going to happen. Yes. But we are optimistic that that is going to bring this plan that uh, so many people have worked so hard to get this Bay Terrace Community Park uh, to get it, as I said, uh, this facility that it deserves. So I want to thank all of our community partners and residents who have continued to push for this project for so long. This is one of the things that the council member, Council President Cole and I have talked about some years ago. Said we're going to get this done uh, because you are going to demand that we get this done, and your determination uh, has made a huge difference as to why we're here. So I want to thank our council president uh, for everything that she does. I'm going to introduce her in just a second, but you've had a driver and a champion right here for this important project, uh, Council President Cole. So thank you for everything that you have done. Uh, I want to thank all of our team um, and our wonderful park and rec. You know, it's great when there's so many great projects the city can, can work on, but you know um, when our city team is out here and they see what this project can make a difference, and people love working on it. That's my point. They love working on projects that are going to make a difference. So to Herman Parker and all of our park and rec staff, James and Engelbor, and all of our uh, public work staff, including the project management and construction team, um, it takes a lot of people to get a project like this. And so I want to take just uh, 30 seconds as I could to thank uh, some of our city employees by name that have been working on this project for so long because they're so proud uh, that today has been here. So I want to thank Elif uh, Seddon, Nikki Lewis, Edgar Lozano, uh, Junmin Pan, yes, Oda Ashfari, Cindy Delino, Patty Soria, Meredith Dawson, Albert Cuevas, Stefan Manduli Williams, and Chrissy Mayer for all of their help and support. Thank you all of the team. This is a right terrific project with this momentum in this great community. Thank you for all of your help and support. And please uh, join me in welcoming and thanking our council president who represents this fantastic neighborhood, Again, this Council is, President uh, Mayor Kevin Faulkner announcing the five million dollars. Now and I can stop harassing uh, the mayor every, comes a little every time cold. I see him. Because he, he also wanted this as badly and as much as I did. So I am so honored to be here. Again, thank you, Mayor Faulkner, for helping me make this dream come true. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. And I also want to thank everyone that the mayor just named. I of course, I'm thrilled to stand here today with the mayor to announce this fantastic news for my district. And I always like to say, the best district in the city of San Diego. That's what I do. Oh, yeah. This afternoon, the city council will hear the item that includes $5 million for the Bay Terraces Community Center. This is exciting news, not only for me, the Paradise Hill, Skyline Hill, the Bay Terraces communities, but especially for the members of the Bay Terraces Filipino American Senior Association who are here today. For nearly three decades, I, 28 years. Yeah, 28 years. 20 years. The members have gathered at this very park, affectionately known as Tuma Park, to engage in daily activities, including dancing, they love to dance, socializing, building relationships, and a community. The seniors have been waiting patiently, trying not to lose hope. And I have been working diligently to get this center built. In May of 2016, we announced the half a million dollars for the design of the Bay Terraces Community Center, right where we're standing. Well, today's item for uh, $5 million in federal grant money will complete the funding for the construction of this facility. Like the mayor said, a 3,500 square foot center that every community resident will enjoy for generations and generations to come. I'd like to thank all the residents and the supporters who have joined me in this fight to make our voices heard. Lastly, if I can turn the page, I, I want to see you today at 2 o'clock if I can. Can I see you today at 2 o'clock in the council chambers yes. so that 
that people will know that this is happening and that the rest of the city council members will join me in, in supporting this item and approving this item. But I would love for you to turn out and join me later today to see this project through. Again, I cannot tell you how excited I am and how proud I am of the seniors that have just been here waiting patiently for us to get this done. Thank you so very much and uh, we'll see you hopefully at two o'clock. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I want to say that I'm proud to be a longtime resident of District 4. I grew up here, and I'm proud to have my mom here, who has been a resident here for 50 years. <laughs> and um, we're just so honored to be here. Uh, thank you, Mayor and Council President, for all that you've done. Um, it's also been my privilege to serve a lot of the constituents here as Council for the Philippines. Um, today, we should all be proud because our mayor worked really hard for us to, to get this funding. And then we also had uh, Council President Myrtle Paul uh, advocate for us and work tirelessly to be something that no other council member had ever done for District 4, and that's get us a senior center. And I want them to know how important a senior center and how special it is. Um, I've been here many times as a kid, and, um, and now here I come here. This is the uh, site right here. That is going to be a big. That'll be a big park. I'm just gonna give you a little. Uh, there it is. There it's. There it is. The park. That is the building right there. It's gonna be a nice building. Continue to come here and make friends, and it became a great place to build for spirit. Um, and as you can see, if you ever come here on any normal day, you'll see them dancing, having fun, playing games. Um, and this senior center is going to go a long way in, in promoting this community. Um, and a perfect example of that is today they're celebrating birthdays. We have the birthdays of uh, Miss Sonia, Miss Melda, and my mom. Um, and I hope, I look forward to the day when that senior center is built and we can cut cake inside. So, thank you. Congratulations to the Bay Terrace Senior Center for advocating CK for your work as a leader. Maraming maraming salamat po. Paz, did you want to say anything? Paz Gomez, Deputy Chief Operating Officer for yes. Infrastructure and Public Works. Yes. Thank you. Um, I just want to take this opportunity to really thank Mayor Faulkner and Council President Cole for their leadership in making this happen. So let's give them a huge round of applause. Yeah. They really made this happen. And James Nagelvoort, Public Works Director, and Herman Parker, they're absolutely amazing and also making sure that this happens. So let's give yeah. them a round yeah. of applause. Yeah. And now let's give you all a round of applause. Yeah. It is absolutely amazing. I think all of us who saw you at council chambers and you gave your heart out, you showed a video, you explained how it had been such a long time. It is absolutely amazing. And I want to give a, a shout out. I was visiting my dad last night and he said, oh, you're going to see my buddy, Mark Patron. And I said, yes, sir. He was the uh, president last year when they embarked on this journey. So maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Thank you very much for everything that you've done. One other thing, just as a, uh, as a note, this is going to be the first zero net energy building that's ever going to be constructed in the city of San Diego. So it's something to be proud of. And basically what that means is that we will be producing energy as much as we're consuming it. So it's in support of the Climate Action Plan. It is absolutely amazing. So thank you all and look forward to seeing you in 2020, hopefully earlier in 2020 for the groundbreak, um, excuse me, the ribbon cutting ceremony. And of course for the groundbreaking here shortly. Thank you.